we are learning to recall groupings within 1000. Here I have the problem 760 plus 140 and I want to work out what that equals altogether. I can see that both these numbers are tidy numbers because they end in a zero. So that's going to make it easier for me to add them. I'm going to start by adding my tens together. So I'm going to add 60 plus 40. I know that 60 plus 40 equals 100. So now I need to add my 700 and my 100 and this other 100 that I've created all together. So 700 plus 100 plus my other 100 all together equals 900. OK, let's look at another problem. This time I've got 530 plus 120. Again, they're both tidy numbers because they end in zero, so it's going to make it easier for me to add. The first thing I'm going to look at is the tens column and adding them together. So I'm going to go 30 plus 20. And I know that 30 plus 20 equals 50. Now I'm going to add my hundreds column together. 500 plus 100 and then I'm going to add that 50 onto it. 500 plus 100 equals 600 plus the 50 that I've already added for my tens, I need to add that on as well. So 600 plus that 50 equals 650. This number bond question is a little bit harder. It's one of my change unknown questions where I'm missing the middle value. So I want to know 500 plus how much more will get me to 930. So I'm going to start with my 580 and I'm going to add on 20 to that so that I get to 600. That's going to make it a bit easier. So 580 plus 20 will get me to the 600. Now I know that I need to get all the way up to 930. So I'm going to go from 600 up to 900. So I know if I go 600 plus another 300, that will get me to 900. But I need to get to 930. So I need to add on another 30 to that 900. Now I look at how much I've added on altogether. I added on 20 and 300 and 30. So first of all, I'm going to add that 20 and 30 together to make 50. And then I'm going to add on the 300. So that's going to make 350. So 580 plus... 350 gets me to 930. Okay, let's have a look at another one of our change unknown problems. This time I have 290, and I want to know how much more I need to add on to that to get me to 740. So first of all, I'm going to make my 290, I'm going to go up to 300, because that's going to make it easier. So I know that if I go... 290 plus 10 that will get me to 300. Now I need to get all the way up to 700 so now I'm going to go 300 plus another 400 will get me to 700 
but I need to get up to 740. So then I need to go 700 plus 40 to get me to my 740. And then I'm looking at how... Okay, now I have this problem here. Something plus 130 equals 250. So now this is the value that I'm missing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, go up to the nearest 100 from 130. So I'm going to go up to 200. So to get to 200 from 130, I need to add on 70. So I'm going to go 130 plus 70. That will get me to 200. But altogether, I need to get to 250. So to that 200, I need to add another 50 to get me to 250. And then I have to look at how much I've added all together. I added 70 and 50. So now I've got to add those together. I know that 7 and 5 equals 12. So 70 and 50 must equal 120. So I know that the answer is 120 plus 130 gets to 250. Now let's look at one more question where the missing value is at the beginning. What plus 340 equals 1000? So again, I'm going to go up from 340 to get to my nearest 100. So I know that if I go 340 plus 60 more will get me to 400 because 40 plus 60 equals 100. So that will go up to 400. But I need to get all the way to 1,000. So now I need to get from 400 to 1,000. So 400 plus 600 more will get me to 1,000. So now I need to look at how much I added all together. I added 60 and 600. So all together I added 660. So the answer is 660. Now you're going to work out some um, of these questions where you have to work out the groupings that add to 1,000.